Welcome back guys, I'm Mel7 and today we're playing Football Manager 2018. This is the beta early release off of Steam. I suppose you can probably get it a couple other ways, but Steam was the easiest. Um, at least for me. So we're going to continue to look through kind of the, uh, the beta and see kind of how the new, the new things work and, and what have you, you know. Um, I haven't even played a single game since last time I logged on here, meaning to play three or four and then record and maybe play three or four and record. Um, but, uh, you know, as things pop up, we'll talk about them more than, or more, it's a good way to say this. As the new features show themselves, we're more likely to stop and film an episode um, than we would be normally. Normally, we're trying to get through a season. You know, maybe we show, you know, one out of every five or six games or, or who knows. You know, it just depends on, on what's going on and what the situation is. But in this case, the whole goal is to showcase the new stuff in the game. So, I uh, went on like a day or two from last time, and you can see here we lost Shola Amibi. Um, he is going to be out five to six months with a hip injury. Right after that, Declan Dunn, one of our youngsters, out five to six weeks. Um, and uh, you can see here, here's our starters. Essentially, we do get our starting goalkeeper back in another day. He's been out three weeks. Um, and you can see Michael O'Connor, six to seven months still. Total timeout was already been four months. So. We come up to this. This is our, our update here. And you can see here, we've got Ryan Yates, Terry Hawkridge. All these guys um, have a heavy match load and have a high injury risk. Despite the fact that injury susceptibility is low, below average, below average, right? And our training load is only medium. So the reason is we've got a heavy match load. They played three matches in the last 14 days. And if we check our calendar, if I can figure out like the schedule, calendar, um, we're going to stay at three within 14 days here, right? In fact, we're going to have four, you know, in 15 days. Then things will balance out a little bit more. I'm wondering if maybe if we can, let's go to the medical center first. So we see this high injury risk. What happens if we lower our training load for this week, maybe? Let's go to training and see what happens. If we were to say team, low. And then we come back to our medical center. Now we show a light here, but still high injury risk. And mostly it looks to be just match fatigue. So there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It didn't look like um, changing this made any difference at all. So let's go ahead back to the medical center or to the training. Knock that back up to average. And again, match fatigue is it. So maybe what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of team rotation. Um, the question is, how many of these players can we actually get out? So we do see that Daniel Jones has a high injury susceptibility already, as does Robert Milson. So let's go ahead and see if we can get those two guys out of our next, uh, next match. So Jones and Milson. Let's see um, tactics. Um, Jones, who do we got that can fill in for Jones? Just Carl Dickinson. Um, a little bit of a step back, but we can do that. And Robert Milsom. Um, let's go ahead. Um, in a limited amount of time, Curtis Thompson's played a little bit better, so we're going to run him in. He's got an average, um, wherever he is here. He's played, he's got a seven and two, the last two games, and the last one's actually 7.4. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and run that. So that at least gets our two like really, really terrible, stressful guys um, out. They're still here. We can use them. Um, I think what we're going to do is 86, 81. Uh, what's the, I wonder how big the difference is between Pindrosh and Colin as far as stats-wise. Um. Fairly significant as far as distribution, shop stopping, physical, and speed. Uh, Colin's better in the air. He's a little bit more eccentric. Um, mental and communication are equal. So, yeah, so we really do want to get Pindrosh back in. So I think we go ahead, and he's uh, injured just, he's returning tomorrow. So let's go ahead and throw him back in there. We'll hit continue, um, and then we'll see. So I at least got two of our heavy risk guys out. Um, I don't know if that's going to help or not. 
But uh, I'll go ahead and hit continue a few more times and when we're ready for the match, we will uh, show that. All right, we're not quite back ready to play the next match, but I decided to play around a little bit to make sure my setup and my tactics was good. Um, and one of the things I want to do is make sure that um, we are training essentially all of our mentalities. So here we're training standard, here we're training counter, here we're training control. That way, is, as those change due to our match play settings, um, those will be trained. The other thing is I went ahead and I added um, pass into space and clear ball to flanks because we do use that as well within those instructions. So I wanted to make sure they get trained, even though we don't use them on our base one, generally speaking. So the next thing I wanted to do was make sure that everybody was actually at their place. So if we wanted to, say, start a game out here and then drop to here, vice versa. Now I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, they, the players would all be in the right position. And when I did that, I realized none of my players were in the right position for some reason. Um, so I needed to fix that. So we've got, so here, we've just about got everybody fixed. Now, if I drag these back here, it drags the whole position. I want to keep this spot here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap, I think, Grant and Thompson like that. There. So that should get everybody more or less where we want them. I'm going to make him an advanced playmaker on support. Uh, they are going to be wingers on attack. He is a deep line playmaker. I don't know if we need an advanced and a deep line, but... Um, we'll run with it for now. I'm going to put him as a ball-winning midfielder on support, so we have a little bit more defense there. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll take him off. We'll just put him on central midfielder on support. I think that will be okay. So this first one, I think that's okay. And, and we want defensive forward. I think we want defensive forward. Um, interestingly enough, what we can do is we can say, okay, this is a normal position. However, when Saunders is here, or here, let's let's do it this way. So right now, Saunders is set up, and we can see position is that way. So what I could do is, now what happens if I swap in, say, John Steed, right? John Steed, I could say, okay, when Steed plays here, personalized, he is going to be a target man on support. So now we know as soon as I throw Steed in up there, he's going to get, he's going to flip over to a target man, which is amazing. I love that. Um, and let's go ahead. Let's throw in... Um, Luis Alessandra here. Let's see. What does he like to be? Okay. he's may as well be a defensive forward. That's as good as he's going to be at anything there. So that is fine. Let's go and put um, Saunders back in there, the youngster. I think that's brilliant. I really, really like that. I just discovered that as we were playing, which is why I've come back to do that. So now we've got that there with those players there. So if we flip back over here, now we can see this puts Grant here. I don't want Grant here. I'm going to slide him kind of over um who's my he's my ball winning midfielder okay on defend so let's try that and this will be advanced playmaker no central midfielder on support deep line playmaker on support and this will be our ball winning midfielder on defend something like that now does, does everybody stay oh, i don't know why it does that i don't know why it insists on swapping those i don't can i just do it this way nope see it just keeps putting him there no matter how we do it i don't ever want grant to play here so i'm not sure why it continues to make that happen there's no easy way for us to swap that. It doesn't make sense, guys. Um, if you're watching this, Sports Interactive, um, if I drag this to there, and I think why is it puts people in a position based on the order they're in here. I don't think that's right. I shouldn't have to do that. You know. So right now, Grant. Is down here I go up here no it swaps him up I have no idea why absolutely no idea why none of the things that we can see should do that right if I have that guy there 
right? And in fact, we put him up there for now, right? So that's that's everybody where they're supposed to be. Then we come here. I'm going to drop Thompson to here. I'm going to make him a ball-winning midfielder on support, right? Everybody's still where they're supposed to be. I'm now going to save this. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to try to drag Grant down. Will that keep my people? Nope. As soon as I do that, it flips Thompson up there. For no reason. What if now I load our 4 2 3 1? Will it flip him back? Nope, keeps Thompson still there. So if I were to do this automatically within within our match, right, where I say, okay, go ahead and change the positions at this point, right? We're up two match, two goals, three goals, whatever. We're going to play defensively. We're going to drop from a 4 2 3 1 down to our 4 1 2 3. Can't do it because it's not going to move those players where I want them to go, right? All of a sudden, those two players are going to be mixed. And I don't know why that that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Um, like I say, either just shuffle. Either people are here where they are in this position, and no matter what happens here, you know, if we change things here, they stay there. I can deal with that, or they're glued to one of these little spots that I'm dragging around. I can deal with that, and that's what I would prefer. If Grant is this guy right here, no matter where I put this. You know, if I flip to my next one, if I slide this one over, Grant should stay there. Um, anyway, is what it is. We'll continue on. Hopefully, we'll have a match here soon. All right, welcome back, guys. I've been sitting here for the last few minutes waiting for the uh, the Culligan Water Man who had his diesel big truck delivery truck parked outside and has been idling for the last 10 minutes to get tired of whatever he's doing and move on so we could record. So let's see how this is going to go. So you can still see we have the same injury risk that we had before. Um, we do have a slightly increased injury risk. Oh, let me get my wallet out of my pocket. I hate sitting on it for any length of time. Um, you can see we do still have an increased injury risk for Branislav Pindrosh. So probably we shouldn't pay him. But I really want to win. So we're going to take the risk. And you can see he's only got a 78%. Maybe we swap him at halftime. Something along those kind of start to ease him back into game shape. Um, so we've got that going on. Uh, the team we are playing, um, let us look at schedule. We can see that we're going to be playing uh, Wickham. And that Wickham is, at the moment, uh, 16th in Skybet League 2. That's not true at all. They're 10th. We are 16th in Skybet 2. They have one win, one loss, a goal differential of one. So, not too bad. We, we got a chance against them, hopefully. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Our match is today. We can see the big lineup there. Match preview. Um, they're fair. We're poor. Looks like they won one, loss two. Um, whereas we've got two draws and, and one loss. So I'm not sure who gets the win on that. Um, but We'll find out. So I do still like that. Still don't know why briefing is there. Um, stat pack. Okay. Um, don't have a whole lot against anybody so far. Um, looks like Josh Umera has two goals for them. And Dominic Gape takes the most shots. Uh, for us, Liam Walker has five shots on target. That's spectacular. We need to keep him attacking. I think that is the plan. But we're just going to go ahead and jump up to steam, uh, submit team. There, team select, whatever the option was before I hit it. Uh, I think that's what we want. We've got Grant there. We've got Thompson there. Everything looks okay. Um, Liam has the most shots on target. Do we maybe want to slot him back to maybe support? And we'll leave him on attack. I think that's what we're going to do to try to force some of that to go his way. So let's go ahead and submit team. 
uh, that's fine. Um, the only other change I've made while you were away was... What did I change? Oh, that's... That's loud. Um, I went ahead and told it to start on counter instead of start on standard within our game plan, our match plan. So, uh, hand over to the assistant. Press me, yeah, in pep talk. Players are ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we'll make sure that our... our we probably don't need to have tactics up there anymore. Um, I think we're probably fairly comfortable that that is going to stay at this point since we hopefully have worked out our workaround for a little bit of a bug there. Interestingly enough, all the sound just stops when it goes to this. You'd think it would just keep like some background sound going. Um, okay. Curtis Thompson, first yellow of the season. Uh, not his first game in, but his first start in. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, Neen fires that thing in. Top right corner. Oh, Pindrosh, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't put you in here to do that. Mason, Autonin. Back the other way. Far side, top corner. That was a pretty good looking goal. Okay. So we are down by a goal, which I think now we're down by two goals just that fast. Um, I think should put us on attack. In fact, we're going to check that. Let's go ahead and check our tactics really fast. Um, we're on control. Maybe we're just on control in the first half. Knott's County are sinking without a trace. Huh. I thought we should do more down two goals. With our match play that we're running, or, or whatever we call that, match play. Um, match plan. Hmm. Down two goals, first half. We're in control. But that's it. And both of our center midfielders have yellow cards already. Um, geez. Go back to field. Um, concentrate. I think that will work. Let's hit play and see what happens here. We're not doing well. Come on, El Abs. You give him a yellow. Oh my gosh. He got a red. Okay, well, hopefully that turns things around for us now. Um, up to this point, they've had two shots scored on both of them. We've had zero shots. Um, fouls are pretty equal. Both have a yellow. They have the red. Possession's pretty equal. Um, apparently, we're just not able to get anything going. Um, focus of attacks. Okay. Back out to Hewitt. Just can't get anything yet going on in there. We just keep lobbing it in. Maybe we need to play that one in. I, I, Jambadi just runs right past our guy. Who was that that just got beat? Dickinson. And Pindros just pushes it out. I, I That wasn't dangerous. I don't know why we needed to leap up. Should have just grabbed it. Okay, Saunders, what do you got? Um... We've got some really horrible play. Dickinson is the first one. Now, we knew we didn't have a whole lot of depth there. Saunders has been terrible. We're definitely going to have to make some changes at half. Not happy at all. I mean, they're down a man, and they're still... We've had one shot. They are dictating play in every way, shape, or form at this moment, with a 53% possession as well. Um... Their goalkeeper's injured. They've got a couple yellows. They've got a red. I just, this is not a good sign for us. We're going to go, um, we're going to go angry this half. That's definitely the case. So let's go to the dressing room. We're going to go um, aggressive. Show me something else. In pep talk. Tactics. 
Um, clearly Dickinson is in, incapable of doing anything. Why does it not give me any options there? Let's go there. Okay, so Dickinson. Um, you're going to have to come out. Sorry, Daniel, buddy. I know I know it's tough, but we got to get you in there. Um, and why do I lose all my... That game rating? There we go. I don't think that was there a second ago, but on the off chance it was, all right, we're going to put in Alessandra. Um, now he's going to flip to... And support, is that what we wanted for him? Yes, because he doesn't do anything else particularly well. Um, we definitely need a striker that's not 80 years old next next season. Um... Uh, that's it. That's two. I mean, we can't swap everybody out, unfortunately. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to start the second half, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Um, we desperately need something to get going here. This is absolutely terrible. I mean, they've been, you know, they've been down a man for most, most of the match already. And we can't get a shot. not get a shot and more probably not going to help with all the frustrated and and everything else thompson's injured it's early but he's injured and on a yellow card we're going to swap him out um i guess we put we're going to put alan smith in we're gonna give him a chance. We know that um, Milsom is a high uh, injury risk at this point. We're gonna to try to manage that a little bit better. Injuries derail seasons more often than just you know a bad you know game or two. Um, we have got some shots finally. So five shots on goal so far. Only two have been on target, and Saunders here puts one up, and. Even though we had all day to take one step to our left to stop that, we decided to leap for no apparent reason. They're looking calm, and why shouldn't they? They're killing us. Absolutely killing us. Their goalie has an injury. Still, I guess he had one at halftime, too. Okay, Walker, what do you have got? Walker's just going to fall down and give it to Jambati. Jambati. And, uh, yeah, and they're going to be on the attack again. This is absolutely terrible. Alessandra's got it. Oh, I thought we had a chance there, but he just doesn't put anything on it. He just kind of shovels it over to Brown. It looked more like a back pass than a shot. Is that going to be on us? And Sean Breezley gets red carded. We don't have any more subs. Um, and so what we're going to do is... Ah, oh God, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to move Smith back here. We're going to move Smith to here. Uh, right there. We're going to move Grant to there. Um, why can we not... There we go. Um, ball winning. Defend. Deep lie, support, and um, advanced on, I think, attack, actually. Man, this is just, this game is just horrible. This is a terrible game. And uh, we're on control, we're on structured. I'm going to go ahead and, no, I don't want opposition instructions, um, team instructions. Uh, I think we're going to clear the ball to the flanks. And then we'll hit early crosses and see if we can get something in. Um, sure, we'll pass into space. Higher tempo. Let's see what we can get going. Oops, confirm changes. So 10 on 10 at this point with, you know, eight minutes left or so. See if we can get something going. I, I don't expect it. We are absolutely horrible here. Jones is injured.
I don't have a sub. Um, and this here doesn't do anything for us. So he's injured. Uh, I don't know what they... This this doesn't let me do anything here. So let me... um. There we go. Jones isn't there anymore. I don't have a sub. So now we're down to, uh, to nine men. And thank God. What an absolute just dog turd of a game um dressing room talk to team aggressive passionate don't have a lot of options here far from pleased i don't know why i would aggressively say i don't have anything to say that makes absolutely why is that option even on there if I'm going to be aggressive, clearly I have something to say. Nothing to say could be, I guess, on calm, and that would be it? I don't I don't even understand why that's there. Um, who played the worst? Jorge played terrible. Colin played terrible. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to end it right there. People are fired up. That was absolute... Oh my gosh, what? I'm embarrassed to have done this one, you know? That was just terrible. We are not that bad a team. But I, I take it back. Clearly, we are that bad a team. Clearly, we are. Um, Daniel Jones out two to three weeks. Nine-man knots lose against Wickham. At least it, at least it looks like a nine-man loss to a ten-man. Um, not. It doesn't show that we, uh, you know, it doesn't say, hey, we had a man advantage for almost the entire game and we couldn't do anything with it. Um, so Daniel Jones is out two to three weeks. Curtis Thomas is out just for a week. Um, Pindros did not look good. Um, Brizzly suspended for a match. Um, and we've been fined for failing to control our players. Oh my God. How, how many did they get? I mean, they had a guy sent off too. And I thought for six yellow cards, um, I guess they had, well, three and then the red. Huh. My gosh, failing to... Well, it is what it is. So, uh, we've got uh, Accrington next. They are about the only team worse than us right now. We may as well show that game just, just on the really weird off chance that we win. But I honestly... I don't know what we're gonna, how we're gonna play this one. To be fair, um, because we don't have a lot of options here. One, two, three. Uh, injured. Um, so let's go ahead. Breezley has to come off. Um, I like to play Hunt at the right, so we're gonna put Hollis in the middle there. Well, let's see. What does Nicky Hunt bring to the table? Good heading, good stamina. He is dirt slow, so no, he really shouldn't be on the right. So we're gonna put him in the middle. Um, instead of Hollis, we're going to put him in the middle there. Um, Curtis Thompson, one of our midfielders. We don't have a lot of options. Um, Milsom's goes back in. Um, that's fine. Uh, that gets us a starting... Uh, I guess we leave Saunders in there. Again, I don't have a lot of options. You know, we're going to start Alessandra. He's supposedly better. He's 28. We got to get something going on here. Um, Forte. Duffe and Tootle. Something like that. I mean, I guess we could run Forte up there, too. Um, you know, he's 31. What do his numbers look like? He does have acceleration and pace. He does have some crossing, dribbling, and finishing. A little bit of flair. 
Off the ball is not terrible. That He's actually faster than Alessandro. You know what? We're going Forte. That's it. Let's go let's go to our tactics real fast. You know, what? I'll figure this out next episode. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated with the way that match went. I just I just I can't let it go. Anyway, we will see you guys next time. This is Football Manager 2018 Beta. I'm Melo7. Cheers.